Can a simple infection become life-threatening? Welcome to our channel. Today we're tackling a global health threat that's as stealthy as it is deadly. Antibiotic resistance. Picture this. Every year more lives are at risk from superbugs than from many chronic diseases combined. Ticking time bomb. If left unchecked, antibiotic resistance could cause more deaths than cancer by 2050, warns the World Health Organization. This isn't just about healthcare. It's about survival. Let's explore why this is happening and what we can do about it. What is antibiotic resistance? Antibiotics, also known as antimicrobial drugs, are medicines that combat bacterial infections. But when these bacteria evolve to withstand the drugs meant to kill them, we face antibiotic resistance. It's not humans or animals that become antibiotic resistant, but the bacterial cells themselves. These resistant bacteria can then spread and cause infections in humans and animals that are extremely difficult to treat. As resistance grows, it threatens our ability to cure previously manageable diseases, posing a serious public health risk. This isn't just a medical problem, it's a biological arms race. For instance, MRSA or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus is a type of bacteria that has become resistant to many antibiotics originally used to treat it. Equally concerning are CRE or carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteria C. These aren't ordinary bacteria. They've developed defenses against carbapenems, a class of antibiotics reserved as a last resort against severe infections. These superbugs develop through genetic changes over time, often exacerbated by our own overuse and misuse of antibiotics. This resistance can spread between bacteria, creating new drug-resistant strains. The discovery of penicillin, a medical revolution, to fully understand the crisis of antibiotic resistance, we must first look back at the origins of antibiotics. In 1928, Alexander Fleming accidentally discovered penicillin, ushering in a new era in medical treatment. Initially, diseases that were death sentences became easily treatable. But the bacteria have adapted and today, the same antibiotics have dwindled in effectiveness. Fleming, accepting his Nobel Prize in 1945, warned of resistance based on lab studies showing bacteria could easily adapt to penicillin. But what has changed since then? Why are these bacteria no longer as susceptible as they once were? What causes antibiotic resistance? There are several reasons. One major factor is overusing antibiotics like when they are wrongly prescribed for viral infections like the common cold. Another factor is misuse of antibiotics. Bacteria multiply rapidly when antibiotics are misused. Skipping doses, stopping too soon, or sharing antibiotics allows bacteria to keep growing and mutating to resist the drugs. The antibiotics kill the non-resistant bacteria, but leave behind the newly resistant ones to spread. Agriculture is another battleground. Antibiotics are used to promote growth in livestock, not just to treat illnesses. Meanwhile, the development of new antibiotics has not kept pace with the rate of resistance, leaving us in a precarious position. Each of these factors contributes to the rapid spread of antibiotic resistance globally. Impacts of antibiotic resistance. The consequences are dire. In 2019 alone, antibiotic-resistant infections were directly responsible for over a million deaths globally. Let's put a human face to this statistic. Susan, a previously healthy 55-year-old, faced a life-threatening situation after a routine surgery. A simple incision infection spiraled into a two-year battle against antibiotic-resistant Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. Despite powerful medications, the infection persisted, forcing her to endure multiple surgeries and countless tests. There were times I genuinely feared for my life, she confesses. Beyond the fear, Susan's active lifestyle was stolen. I used to be a marathon runner, she laments. Now even simple walks leave me exhausted. Susan's story is a stark reminder that antibiotic resistance can strike anyone, anywhere. Without intervention, we're looking at 10 million deaths annually by 2050, not to mention a potential 3.4 trillion yearly blow to the global economy. These numbers aren't just statistics. They represent real lives and livelihoods at stake. What can be done? While daunting, we can turn the tide by taking decisive action. Key solutions include responsible antibiotic use, only take antibiotics when prescribed and complete the full course. Avoid pressuring doctors for unnecessary prescriptions. Do not self-medicate with antibiotics. Stronger healthcare stewardship. Implement strict protocols, monitor resistance, and enhance infection prevention practices. 
new antibiotic development, policy changes like tax incentives and public-private partnerships to spur research, reduce agricultural overuse, explore alternatives to non-therapeutic antibiotic use in livestock production, international collaboration, global surveillance, data sharing, and coordinated strategies among researchers and policymakers, public awareness, education to empower individuals to make informed choices and advocate for change. Call to action. This crisis needs a global response, and it starts with us. Get informed, advocate for responsible antibiotic use, and support policies aimed at curbing antibiotic resistance. Together, we can safeguard our antibiotics for the future. Interested in helping out more? Check the links below for more resources and ways you can contribute. Conclusion. This fight against antibiotic resistance is one we cannot afford to lose. These life-saving drugs have transformed modern medicine, and it's up to us to protect them for future generations. So let this be a call to action for all. We must meet this threat head-on through our choices and the policies we demand. Support new antibiotic development. Advocate for responsible use across all sectors. Push for global cooperation. We each have a role to play in turning back this crisis. Raise your voice and educate those around you. Because only through our collective action can we prevail over antibiotic resistance and safeguard the future of medicine. The future of our health depends on all of us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help spread the word. Stay tuned for more insights in our next video.